One of the main objectives of EU Jamrai has been to increase awareness on antimicrobial resistance, promoting the responsible use of antibiotics and encouraging healthy habits among different target audiences. After delivering a social behaviour change communication strategy based on a global approach, EU Jamrai started the design and implementation of several dynamic activities. The objective has been taking the global issue of AMR and making it meaningful to society at a local level. For doing so, the support of EU Jamrai partners designing and implementing the following raising awareness activities has been crucial. Don't Leave It Halfway is a video series of four announcements. With a touch of humour, the key message highlights the importance of following the prescription given by the healthcare professional. Available in 18 languages, the online campaign was launched to celebrate 2018 European Antibiotic Awareness Day and reached 2.7 million people in one month. The AMR webinar for journalists is an online training opportunity with clear and accurate scientific information from senior tutors with long experience in the fight against AMR. We had the privilege to have senior tutors from EU Jamrai, ECDC and FAO. The topics of the webinar cover the impact of AMR in human health and animal health, the ways in which Europe is facing this global health challenge and the important role of the media. In 2018, EU Jamrai ran a social media listening to find out what was being said about the antimicrobial resistance on the internet. One of the main conclusions was that the concept One Health was not being used. EU Jamrai designed the social media campaign One Health Butterfly Effect to raise awareness about this complex concept. The One Health approach recognizes that human health, animal health and environment are interconnected. Efforts by just one sector are not enough to tackle antimicrobial resistance. We need to design and implement policies, programs and research in which multiple sectors are working together. However, this mission can be seen as a very overwhelming task. Under the claim, everybody can flap their wings to create a One Health butterfly effect, the audience was engaged, highlighting that we all have a role to play and that individual small changes can have large effects. Specific posts with attractive images and short key messages were created for different target audiences on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and widely disseminated with the support of our stakeholders and partners. Given the complexity of introducing antibiotic resistance in the curricular programme of schools, EU Jamrai decided to develop the game app Micro Combat to facilitate that the subject is treated during school hours. Based on the card game developed by the IAS Global Research Institute, Micro Combat App is available in 19 languages and allows users to play remotely with people from their own environment or from anywhere in the world. Designed for 10 years old players and older, it allows introducing what types of pathogens we are exposed to, how we can prevent the spread of infectious diseases and how much more effective preventing is than the subsequent treatment of diseases or what antimicrobial resistance is. The magic of this game is that kids learn while playing and having fun. Firstly, they learn science and secondly, since it is a cooperative game, they learn to be better citizens because they experience that some threats can only be tackled by working together. EU Jamrai called to action individuals from all over the world and organised a contest to find the first global antibiotic resistance symbol. Something tangible that anyone, anywhere, can make at home and wear with pride, like the AIDS red ribbon. The contest generated a lot of discussion in social media, reaching over 600,000 people and got 600 applications from 44 countries. 
a multi-sectoral jury with members from several organizations involved in the fight against AMR, selected the design of David Jungberg. Jungberg is a Swedish product designer and art director with multiple awards for his work in advertising. He now specializes in user-focused design that bridges the communication gap between science and the general public. The concept of the antibiotic resistance symbol is very simple. Two hearts slide together, turning into an X shape made of antibiotic pills. The capsules set the theme. The hearts tell us we need to care and the band-aids tell us there is something to fix. The winning symbol was launched to celebrate the 2020 European Antibiotic Awareness Day. Um, thanks to a strong digital campaign, we reached uh, almost 2 million people in only the first two months. The campaign has had a remarkable impact on Twitter, where many organisations and personalities supported the initiative, sharing pictures wearing the symbol. The response was very positive from the beginning, but this is a long distance race. There are not quick wins when promoting behavior change. Now we have to keep going and we need the support of all member states and stakeholders to popularize the use of this great symbol. In order to ensure the sustainability of these activities, we have developed a plan to integrate them within national policies. EU JAMRI has also developed a toolkit to guide countries and partners in their efforts to raise awareness of, on AMR, collecting all the results and lessons learned by the communication team. We cannot underestimate that promoting behavior change is our biggest challenge. We need to find ways to engage all sectors of society and ensure that they feel part of the solution because we all have a role to play in the fight against AMR.